All right. Welcome to another episode of Kiwi Scan Stories. Kiwi Scanners, Key Rats. This is great. Today we're talking about chocolates. I'm excited. I'm excited. I came across Cacao Heaven. With uh, it's a Instagram of a lady which we have here today, Karina. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Where she makes handmade chocolates. She's going to tell us all about that. So I'm excited. Karina, how are you? I'm great, Alejandro. How are you? Thank you for having me today in your podcast. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. It's great. I mean, it, it's your, your Instagram looks great. You, you sent me a little sample. I appreciate that very much. They were amazing. They were amazing. Thank you so much. I know it took me a little bit longer than usual to try them because my godson actually saw the picture that I sent him. Look what I got. And he was so excited that I had to wait for him a couple of days so we can try them <laughs> together. <laughs> uh, it usually happens with the kids. They love chocolate. So <laughs> yeah. I understand perfectly. It was really good. Very, very good. The presentation was great. The flavors were great. I was, I was heavily impressed. Thank you so much. Uh, but before, before we dive into the chocolates, let's get to know you a little bit. Um, where are you originally from? Well, I'm, a, I'm born and raised in Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, I made my degree in communication. Then uh, I got married uh, also there. Then we traveled to Spain, me and my husband, to make our master's degree. And I did mine in advertising and, and marketing. And while we were there, my husband had a business opportunity. So we came here to the, to the U.S. to see how it goes. And well, basically, while we were here, uh, it, I started this journey with a with a chocolate. And did you, were you always in Key Biscayne coming back from Spain? Was it directly into Key Biscayne first or? Yeah, Key Biscayne uh, was always our first option because my husband came, came to Key Biscayne since he was a little boy with his parents to, to vacations here. So he loved the key. So he, he took it like the first option to get here. And we have uh, eight years. Since then, we came in 2013, and we are not uh, planning to move from here because, as I say, when you when you came once you came here to the key, you cannot move anywhere. Yeah. I, we love it here. <laughs> it's very difficult to move from here. I believe it. Your, your your story is similar to mine. My my grandfather used to come here for vacation often, and we would travel from Peru. So oh, that's really? how, yeah, we ended up making the leap. Um, and this is oh, where we first wow. came. Yeah. Okay. So you said that the, the cacao heaven started when you guys came from, from Spain. Your husband had an opportunity and you started your chocolate uh, project then. Eight years ago. Well, yeah. Yeah, eight years ago. Well, it, it started um, in 2015. I'm going to tell you why. Um, we, when we came here, we spent like one year without, uh, we were, we just, he, him and, and me. And then we started like to think and start a family. So I got pregnant in 2014. And unfortunately I had a miscarriage. Uh, I had like, uh, 10 weeks at that moment. And it was very rough for us. I was very, very sad. And I was like not understanding what was happening to us. And, and, I'm, I, and I'm, a, I'm a very believer person. And I, I start like praying to God and like asking him, why me, why us? Uh, I was so excited about it. But I think that he has a, a perfect plan for, for everyone and a perfect timing. So I start like praying, God, give me something like to hold on, something that's passionate something like to be passionate with uh, because I, I really was struggling a lot with a miscarriage and, and I was very, very sad about it. Um, since I had my degree in communications, I love all and the advertising, advertising thing and all that stuff. I like started um, like thinking like to do something that maybe uh, it has more sense to me, like to be passionate with. And we went to Caracas, Venezuela to visit our family there. And my sister-in-law uh, was in my mom's house that day. And 
we start talking about chocolate and she's an engineer. She, she, she's not a, a, a cooking uh, person all day, but she's very intelligent in different things. So she knows, she, she knows a lot about it. And we start talking and we start doing it in my mom's kitchen at, at Venezuela. And she starts like teaching me some things and some techniques and we were laughing about it. And I thought, oh my God, this is so complicated. I don't think I can do this, but I love it because I have been passionate uh, for the chocolate all my life. It, it, I'm, I'm super a chocolate person. And it was very interesting for me to know a little bit more about it. And uh, when I came here again to, to, the, to the U.S., I start like doing it like for hobby and I start like uh, learning a little bit more of the technique, studying, uh, reading and uh, but more mostly like for a hobby, not not like for a working thing. I mean, I didn't have the kids at that time and and I, I figure out that it relaxed me uh, and, and it was like super, um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, um, I don't know why it relaxed me. Yeah, because it, it's very complicated. As I said, there are a lot of techniques together. It's a long process. You have to be very passionate and very patient. So, but it relaxed me. And I, um, while I was doing it, I started like singing, dancing, praying. And it was a very healing therapy for me while I was in that uh, process. Um, of the miscarriage so I asked the, uh, God in, in prayer um, I like this I want to do something with it and maybe um, I want you to be involved in uh, maybe I don't know to talk to people and, and say some uh, interesting things in, in, in each bomb and I don't know so uh, things got like uh, rolling or I don't know <laughs> and I met different people uh, I met different providers I like got ideas and I'm a very creative person and I love like uh, creativity so I start like uh, doing all the things uh, with a uh, with the name of the uh, of the uh, of the chocolate the different feelings that I was gonna make and it was like a baby for me because it took nine months of very hard work for me like to develop all the feelings and all the molds and well it took to me like one year to read the bible um each each morning when i uh, before i got up i read a little bit and and it fulfilled me a lot uh, because I, as I told you, I was struggling a lot. I was very, very sad. And I, I said, like, why I don't put some of these words, maybe Psalms and Proverbs that have very special uh, messages in this bonbon? But how I'm going to do that? Uh, it was not that easy. It was super expensive. But I found ways. And, and now when you when you try the, the bonbons, you can... Uh, find some different messages so i i think they are not only the 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 kind of bomb that is a sweet little thing for your mouth and it's something to be light up but it's only so, uh, something very sweet to your soul to your heart because um there are messages that go directly to your to your heart so uh, i work with different kinds of chocolate with uh, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, um, white chocolate. I have different type of feelings, uh, different molds. And as I told you, the, um, the process is very long and, and it's, uh, you have to be very pa patient. Uh, I, I do it like for in different, um, um, uh, how do I say that? First I do the feelings there, then I work with the chocolate, then I put both together. We, I have different like uh, machines, like for hot and for for cold. And then you have at the end the the bonbon. You mentioned you put some messages, some inspirational messages 
that you take from the Bible on your chakras. Can you give us some ideas of what kind of messages we can find? Okay, let me show you. I have something here. This is one of the presentations I have. And uh, of course, let me show it to you. Okay, let's pick something here to see what we have. Okay, here so you have the, the bumbin. And if you check here, in the you bottom can see the, of the little cup the, of the little holder. How would you okay, call that? Okay, let me just tell what it says. Wise words bring many benefits, and hard work brings rewards. And it's from Proverbs 12 14. So I, di I didn't know I was going to get that one. So. <laughs> Oh, now people tell me, but do you choose the, the messages for me in my box? And I said, no, definitely I don't choose them because I don't have time. There are many, many boxes and I don't have like the time to pick for each person. But yes, while I'm doing all my process, I pray for those people. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know who's going to, to, to eat them because for example, you can buy it to a friend and I don't know how many people are going to have a chocolate from that box. I just pray. I thank to God. Uh, I, I'm just passionate and happy while, while I'm doing all this process. Mm -hmm. And when you have the bomb in your hand and you read the message, um, I don't know if, if, if that sounds like good to you, but it's like God is talking to you yeah because many people have told me oh my god i was struggling with something in my life in that specific moment and and when i saw the 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 message i said oh my god how did she know this and i said no i didn't know it it, it wasn't me i didn't know that you were going to get that message at that specific moment so it it had something like it's very special i think it's very, so a very special project in general for those, for those that are only listening and not, not watching, Karina showed us a box of her chocolates and the messages are under are under the chocolate little cup paper holders. So that's very nice. Can you read us another one? Yeah, of course. Let me find another we're gonna one. Go through, we're going to go through the whole box now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, I have it in Spanish and also in English. So you, when, you, when you do your order, you can tell us if you prefer a language because I know that some people doesn't um, speak Spanish or English. Okay, here I have another one. Here you have the bumbin and here you have the message. Uh, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence for things we cannot see. Mm. So, they, they talk mostly about love, about God, about um, friendship, about faith, about um, different things. To, to have joy in life, to be wise in the, the, the decisions you take. Uh, I don't know. If you try them, you maybe you will have uh, the message that is right for you. I have different presentations, different sizes. I have small sizes. Well, these are the, the Christmas presentations. This is a, the small one I have. You have a little red uh, bow, it, it comes, nice. Yeah, with a red bow. The people liked it a lot. This is the medium size. And it comes like with uh, 10 or 12 and the small one with uh, four. As I told you, we work with pre-orders. Mm -hmm. Because there uh, we have a, a, a lot of people in that season, a lot of work. So we will work by pre-order. You can go to our Instagram page or our Facebook page or our web page and you can find all the information to, can, to contact us and about prices, about the, the, the bonbons, the feelings and all, all you need to know about it. So pre pre podcast, you told me about about your kids and, and your family a little bit. Tell tell us more about your family. Tell us about your kids. Well, I have two beautiful kids. Uh, I have a four year old girl and a four, and a three year old boy. Uh, I love them so much. They give like so many happiness to our lives, and they're so creative and adventurous and energetic. <laughs> We don't stop even for a minute. 
And, um, and they're very special for us because uh, I got a, a miscarriage when I had my first baby, when I have in the week, ten, in the 10th week. And it was a lot of, 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 of pain there because of that situation. And I started cacao heaven as well. And it was a, a healing process for me doing all this project with uh, messages and the bombings. And uh, it took me like two years to get pregnant again we went to the doctors and um, they told us we don't know what to tell you because you have an unexplained fertility uh, you and your husband are both great uh, but it's not happening so at that moment I had like two years um, doing cacao heaven and serving God with all the messages and the bombings and different things and experiences that I had during those two years of praying to get pregnant and I got very frustrated but I understood that God has a perfect plan for each person and a perfect timing because his time is perfect definitely so I like um, I let it go and I, and I said like well I don't know if it's, if to be a mom or motherhood, it's not for me. Um, maybe it's not, uh, but I'm going to let it go because if it's not happening, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep pushing something that I don't know why at this moment, but you know better than me. So uh, two, we, um, two months later, it was my birthday. We went in Chicago. I was in Chicago with my husband. We were in vacation. And I was pregnant, I didn't know it. And when we came back, uh, we had that, uh, well, I, I, that I was pregnant. I, I got that um, um, beautiful um, um, the gift surprise. It? It's like happy yeah, birthday, surprise. happy birthday. Like my gift birthday, yeah. And I, and I was super, super happy. And I thank God so much and, uh, and that that's where you you see that he's not a he never fails that he's hearing your prayers that even if it's not at your time or your place he has a perfect time a perfect place and a perfect plan and when I had my first daughter Mia um, I start praying again and well if you want to give me a second child and if, and if it's in your plans and if it's a son I love boys. So, it would be ideal. <laughs> uh, it would be super great for me. But if it's not in your plan, well, I'm going to try to be the best mom I can for her. And I did that prayer. And it was like uh, a month later. I don't remember exactly. Mia had six months and I got pregnant again. It really was a surprise because it was super fast. And now I have Matias. He's three years old. They are 15 months in between they're almost twins I, I don't I don't know if that is in some uh in in some countries they say it's like Irish twins or something like that uh oh when they're they, like back they, to back yeah they they love to play together they're best friends they they fight a lot they they do everything together it's a lot of work for for us as parents and a lot of responsibility because they're almost twins. And, uh, but they give our lives uh, a joy that it's unexplainable. So uh, my, my message is that um, no matter the, the struggles you're, you're having in your life at that time, you have to be patient, you have to be faithful, you have to believe in God and, and believe that he has a plan, he has a perfect timing for you, he has a perfect place, and and a perfect plan so i don't know that that is like my testimony and how do i came with cacao heaven and it it, it fulfills my life even if, if it was not what i studied because i have my degree in communication uh i i never studied like uh specifically um, for for chocolates or food or that stuff and, and it, I, I didn't mention it, but it, it's very, uh, I'm gonna mention it because it, it's fun. 
while I'm in my process doing the bumping, uh, if I'm not like spiritually connected with him, because I say he's my boss and he works through my hands while I'm working. If I'm not connected with him and I'm like, ah, I'm stressed, the bumbons don't come out. They, they crack. Um, it's a complete disaster. <laughs> so I have to be like very focused on him in my prayers. I have to be like super um, not stressed. Uh, super quiet, super happy, and I know that it is him, uh, like working through my hands because it's not only me. It's not like uh, only my privilege and 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 my and my call. Like it's Karina that is wow, and and she does uh, an excellent job by herself. And I know it's him working through my hands because. I, 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 I always have that experience where I'm not connected. It is a complete mess. So uh, I just wanted to like, like you know that because it, it's, very, it's very fun for me. So. No, I love it. I love that, that how you, in a way, you are communicating, right? Through your, through Cacao Heaven, you're communicating your, your experience with, with God and how you have the messages and how you do it, the whole process is like you're serving your fellow, your fellow human being, your, your fellow brothers and Chris, brothers and sisters in Christ, right? Through your work. And you're doing it like we should do all our work through love and through passion and connection with God. So I like it. Um, and it has been a, 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 a challenge for me because as a mom of two little kids, because they have three and four uh, it, this year, these past years and with the pandemic, you can imagine. And this was, this was crazy this year. Uh -huh. So, and for all the moms of the world. And uh, it has been a very challenging uh, work and project for me because I have to work when they are at school or in the, all in the morning yeah. or when they're all, uh, already asleep in the night or in weekends, my husband take them out and I have to work and but I I do what I love what I do and I think that's very important uh for a job you have to love what you do and if you do it with love and with passion uh, I I think and, you, and if you believe in what you do um it's gonna be great not only for you for your life but for the people that is around you I I I believe that so strong so so what do you see the future of Cacao Heaven look like? Do you want to grow or do you want to, what, what does that future look like? You know, no, well, limi no limitations, no, no limitations. No, well, I want to have my, my store and uh, of course I want to grow because I love what I do. As I told you, I, I have other plans for Cacao Heaven as well. Other projects are big projects, but right now, like uh, I have, as I told you, my two kids. And they are my priority as well, because I think that uh, it's a lot of responsibility to, to have small kids. You have to teach them uh, so many things. It's a lot of time that you have to, to be with them, to play with them, to do homework with them. And right now they are my priority, my first priority. And of course my job, but uh, I think it's not the moment like, uh, I, I want them to be a little bit um, older. Uh, how do I say? It? Bigger, so I can like be fully committed, like with this project that I have. But of course, of course, I want to have my store here at Kiwi's Cane, and I also love flowers. So I want to do something with chocolates and flowers. And well, I have different ideas that I cannot reveal right now, but. But of course, I want to grow and, and I want to, to, to make them bigger, of course. Great. Great. Let's talk a little bit about Key Biscayne. I know that. And let me see. Let me see. I know that we're running out of time. So let's talk a little bit about Key Biscayne. What is your favorite part of Key Biscayne? Well, I love every part of Key Biscayne because it, you can find so many things here that it, it's amazing. 
we go by with the kids and you find uh, animals and, and nature and you go to the beach and it's spectacular and then you go to, to the streets and you find the people you find restaurants you find so many things but my personal spot is the lighthouse when you go upstairs and you and you see that beautiful view from there for me it's my wow moment when i can go there <laughs> because uh, i took my kids once but i was like a little nervous so <laughs> i prefer to go or alone or with my husband when i have the time but that is my my favorite spot uh, of tv King. awesome and how would you describe a perfect weekend for you and your family on the key well, a perfect weekend, um, I try to get up early, go out for a run. Then we go out with the kids uh, with the bikes and they go out to see the, the animals, the nature. Then we came back, uh, we have lunch. Then we go out with some friends and hang out at the beach or maybe we, we took them to the pool and basically that. Maybe sometimes they want to. They want us to to go to eat pizza, or to steal pizza, or or have an ice cream. Um, they're very relax, relaxing. <laughs> yeah, That's when perfect. you have small kids, it's perfect. not that relaxing. But but it, we are all day like twenty four seven with a lot of energy for them. It's, uh, sometimes it's exhausting for us, but. But we enjoy it a lot because uh, we do so many things uh, during the weekend that we, 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 we mostly are here. We don't, we don't get out of the key uh, on the weekends that much because we have everything here. So basically, yeah. that's, that, that's our kind of, of weekend. Love it. Love it. Karina, thank you so much for jumping on the show and telling us your story and and sharing sharing your story with us i really appreciate that thank you very much thank you so much for for having me your podcast um i'm so happy and to to tell my story to all the people and well uh see you see you around <laughs> for sure <laughs>